You know, we've heard some incredible breakthrough stories this evening, haven't we? Your brain is not your friend. I want you to imagine that you're going to a performing arts theater to see your favorite musical. You walk in, you're finding your seat. The crowd is a buzz with anticipation. You sit down, the curtains rise, the music swells. You are into it. You are enjoying the singing, the dancing, the acting until someone runs out onto the front apron of the stage and throws a rubber snake into the audience. Your eye catches it and you start saying, snake, snake, snake. And the crowd goes crazy. They are crawling over the chairs. They're practically stampeding each other to get out of the theater, all because of a harmless rubber snake. Now, why is that? You see, researchers at MIT discovered that it only takes the human brain 13 milliseconds to fully process visual information to which you have been exposed. So your eye sees the snake and you conclude it's a real snake. And listen, snakes can be harmful. And even if they aren't, ooh, I'm glad some of you can relate to that. And this is where your brain is not your friend because you're seeing something and you're believing it to be real, even though it isn't. I like to call this the rubber snake theory. And this became true and real in my life when we made a a cross-country move more than 10 years ago from Tampa, Florida to right here in McKinney, Texas to restart not one, but two businesses. And now we had friends who were like, Fred and Elizabeth, it's going to take you at least 12 months in order to restart those businesses. And we were like, what? Do you know us? It is not gonna take us that long. But you know what? It was hard. We weren't prepared for exactly how hard it was. The reality of not having friends, everything being new, uh, feeling like really like fish out of water. People not buying what you're selling. And let's face it, when you're selling something and no one's buying, you, you get the idea. And so that that experience that we had was really, it, it helped me to go, okay, Elizabeth, you talk all the time about how you think and what you do. Are you gonna really just talk about it or are you gonna actually live it? Now, I'm happy to say that during that time, while we were dealing with all of that struggle, I should say this first, that it was like we were being bitten by a real snake. The difficulties felt real. And it really was like injecting poison into our mind of, did we make the right decision? Can we do this? Will this work? And I am happy to tell you that here we are almost 12 years later, and we've made some incredible friendships. We have tremendous dynamic community connections, and we absolutely love investing and in, in being part of, event, part of events just like this. And so I wanna share with you three things that you can take from the rubber snake theory. But let me first get you back into that theater mode. What if we reimagined the theater? What if it's the same theater, the same seat, the same production, except before the curtain rises, someone steps out onto the front apron of the stage and says, ladies and gentlemen, at some point, someone is going to throw a rubber snake into the audience. You see, in doing so, they have given you proper expectation and emotional preparation to help you process what you're going to see. So out of that, here are three ways that you can take the rubber snake and utilize it into your life. The first is that it's always helpful to have friends who are willing to give you the gift of proper expectation and emotional preparation, just like our friends Randy and Elizabeth did. The question is, will you receive and utilize the gift? The second thing is that Your experiences, the things that you've heard from these amazing speakers tonight, they can be gifts to your family, your friends, your coworkers, the people that are important in your life 
as you share with them proper expectation and emotional preparation for the rubber snakes that will surely be thrown into their lap. And number three, it's important to remember just because the mind thinks it or the eye sees it does not mean that it is true. It is important that we slow down and we allow ourselves the opportunity to really think about what we are seeing so that we can avoid the havoc of that first theater scene and really take the time each and every day or every opportunity that we have to ask ourselves, have we just seen a real snake or are we seeing a rubber snake? 